Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my home. Today we're cooking something that I almost pretty much never cook, which is fish, because I'm not a huge fan of fish. But a few weeks ago, I was on vacation in Dubai and my sister insisted that I take this fish home with me. I actually brought this with me from Dubai. And it's the sea bream fish. And this video is actually credited to her because this is her recipe we're making today. It is incredibly simple and yes, it is very, very good. And also I'm going to show you how she makes the, the sauce that she serves along with this fish, which is the tahini garlic lemon sauce, okay? So let's get started. So what you will need is of course a fish. Today, like I said, I'm using the sea bream. You can definitely use other kinds if you wish. And to season it, I'm going to use some salt, some pepper, some red chili powder, and some garlic. You can also optionally add other spices too if you want to give it more flavor. Today I'm using the seven spices blend. You can use other spices like fish spice, for example. And to make the sauce you need some lemon juice, some tahini, a little bit of mayonnaise, some salt, some chili powder, and lots of garlic. And as usual, the exact quantities are going to be listed in the description box below the video. Okay, so to season the fish, I'm going to mix the spices together. Uh, first, I'm going to start by pressing the garlic into a small bowl. And then to it, I'm going to add the salt, pepper, chili powder, and optionally the seven spices blend and a little bit of lemon juice, and I think I forgot to mention this in the ingredients. But of course I will list it in the description box below. And just stir it so that it creates kind of a paste. And then taking the fish, rub the, the ingredients on top of the fish like that and press it down. Anyway, don't worry if it doesn't stick too much because when we cook it, it's going to cook all in the same frying pan and it will infuse into the fish. And then flip it to the other side and do the same thing and rub it with these spices. So now we're going to cook this fish in a frying pan on the stove. Now to cook the fish, you need a flat, shallow frying pan. And we're going to cook this over very, very low heat. So I'm going to turn on my stove on the lowest heat. And when the pan gets kind of hot, I'm going to place the fish. And I'm going to cook it for approximately two or three minutes on each side. And I'm going to turn it every two or three minutes until it's done. So starting on this side, I'm going to let it cook for, for two minutes on very, very low heat. And you see, I didn't add any oil because you see the fish is, is starting to release its juices. So it's going to cook in its own juices. So about two minutes later, I'm going to turn it. And cook the other side. Again, over very, very low heat. If you find that your fish is getting too dry and, and, and not releasing enough juices, you can add a little bit of vegetable oil just so that it doesn't stick on the pan. But I find it's not necessary with the sea bream fish. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it again. And I'm going to turn it again. Also, by doing this, I make sure that um, the fish doesn't burn. Now you see how the meat is becoming white? It means the fish is almost ready, it's almost fully cooked. And you can tell by, you know, if you peek inside, you can tell that it's cooked. You see, it's, it's nice and white. So maybe we need to turn it one more time and we're done. Actually, I'm not even going to turn it because it's done, it's fully cooked. Now the overall cooking time took exactly 20 minutes. Like I said, turning it every two or three minutes. So now we're ready to eat. So to serve it, I'm going to place it over a bed of lemons. Of course, you don't have to do that, but I think it just looks very pretty. And that's it. We're
we're done. Now to make the sauce, I'm going to start by pressing the garlic into this thing, which I wish I knew what it's called. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to pound it further to create a very smooth um, garlic paste. So just using the um, this, <laughs> just pound it. See, this is what your garlic should look like. It's a very smooth paste. And then in a medium bowl, I'm going to add the tahini, the lemon juice, a little bit of mayonnaise, some salt, and the red chili powder. And of course, my garlic. And then whisk all the ingredients together using a, a whisk or a fork. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water just to thin out the sauce a little bit. Not a lot, maybe two tablespoons or so. And continue whisking. You can give it a taste to see if it needs any more salt. Mm, and it doesn't. And that's it for my sauce. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and you enjoy making this fish. It is very delicious. I can't wait to eat it now with my husband for dinner. So until next time, bye!